We are back. I'm JP, this is the 3D Workshop, and today we are actually in the workshop itself, which is awesome. Uh, today we're talking about upgrades to the Creality CR10. Uh, this is not going to be a yes, you should do this, no, you shouldn't do that type of video. No, this is just going to be me probably rambling about what I've done to my machine and why. So I'm gonna jump right in. The very first mod I ever did for this machine was the hotbed bracket to support the wires. Everyone knows about that. Next mod I did was this tapered adapter for my filament uh, because the stock rail is terrible and I needed something that actually worked. Um, moving on, uh, I did this filament guide, which is the three-in-one version that holds your cable uh, guides the filament and then acts as a dust cover. That's a great print, um, highly recommended. And I should mention right now, I'll link all of these, uh, all the STLs for these in the description below. So moving on past that, we get into some of the more unorthodox modifications, like this big old frame brace, for example. Um, this might be one of my favorite mods simply because of the way it makes the printer look. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I really like how the CR10 looks with like a full bodied frame on it like this. And it works really well to do uh, <laughs> its actual job, which is to stabilize the top end of this and prevent tilt or shift when you get up into those bigger prints. Um, beyond that, some more unorthodox things would be uh, stands for the control box, allows me to tuck my tools up underneath, gives me a little bit extra length on the cables when we're doing those bigger prints. Um, I like it, easy, simple. Moving on, we have LED lighting, which I would put as probably a must for my 3D printers. Um, I've got a little switch here. It's connected to my Raspberry Pi, which leads me to the next modification. Uh, maybe not a modification, but just accessory upgrade would be the Logitech webcam tied to my Raspberry Pi acting as a nanny cam. Um, very cool. I can be out and about, out on the town, pop my phone open, press a couple buttons and be like, yep, okay, we're still printing, good to go. Or no, I've got a spaghetti mess on my printer bed right now and that'll be fun when I get home. Um, I don't actually use it to control the whole printer in those circumstances. I wish I probably did, but um, I just use it as a nanny cam. That's just easier for me. I run straight out of the SD. Um, it's just simpler. Uh, moving on though, let's look at some more functional modifications on this. Uh, vibration dampers. Um, I've got vibration dampers under the feet and I've got them in the motors. If you have $15 hanging around, burning a hole in your pocket, go on Amazon, get some NEMA 17 vibration damping, whatever the hell you want to call these things. Vibration dampers. Get the vibration dampers for your NEMA 17s. Uh, they're 15 bucks on Amazon. They're worth every dollar in my opinion because I don't know if you can hear it or not, but my printer is very quiet. Very quiet compared to a stock CR10. Um, the ones that go on the feet are hit or miss from what I'm hearing. Um, that's actually a remix, a design I did. Um, and, uh, for me, they work well for others. A lot of other people, they work well, but I've got a couple guys saying it doesn't do anything. So your mileage may vary, you know, print them up, try them out. Why not? Uh, moving on. What else do we got here? We have a top feeding filament setup. Uh, no, it is not <laughs> what it looks like. Um, this actually pops up here. This is a bracket that just guides the spool itself. Um, there is a guide right here that holds an extended Bowden tube that runs to this filament guide in the bottom. And your filament runs through all that into the hot end. Um, it works really well. I am working out a few final design kinks with it and then I'll be posting it up on Thingiverse. Uh, kind of cool. This rides on a little skateboard bearing and whatever else. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a project I've been working on anyway. Uh, it's just not in use because on this card table, it just rattles around a bunch and it's, uh, it's just not prudent for, for this setup right now. Um, anyway, next modification would be the build plate. Um, hmm, I wish I could talk more about this build plate. I just got it a couple weeks ago and it is awesome. Uh, I set the bed at 65, nozzle at 205. I have no hairspray, no glue, nothing down on the bed. And when this cools down, these parts are gonna pop off. Just nothing, super easy. Everything sticks. 
Uh, the problem is, is that I have no idea what it's made out of, and neither does the supplier. I've asked him a number of times now if he has any idea what this thing is. He doesn't really know. For, uh, for all we know, it is moon dust and alien glue holding this thing together, but uh, we, we really don't know as of right now what the material is. I can send you to the guy I got it from, but uh, beyond that, all I know is it works. So awesome build plate. Wish I could tell you more about it. Unfortunately, right now I can't. Um, hmm, looking past that, what other mods do we have? Uh, we've got this upgraded Bowden tube, which is rated for a little bit higher temperature. Uh, that's nice if you get into the uh, PETG stuff. Um, and then I've got the Batfang dual 50 millimeter fan mod up front, which is another one of my designs that honestly, it works fine for me. Is it the best out there? No, definitely not, but it uh, it works and I like it, looks cool, so I leave it on. Uh, and I think that's really it. Uh, besides the Raspberry Pi itself and uh, everything else we've covered here, I don't think I've got many other mods on this. So it looks like a lot, it's really not that much. Um, if I had to break it down into top three mods, I would say in number three, the vibration dampers on the motors and the feet. Absolutely, uh, it just quiets the machine up so much. Uh, number two, I would say some type of lighting and or the Raspberry Pi monitoring setup. Uh, that's all tied into one for me on this machine, so I'm just gonna count that. So let's say Raspberry Pi baby monitor LED lights, electronic accessories, okay? We'll say electronic accessories as number two. And number one, I'm gonna say is probably this build plate I'm rocking right now because I went through mirrors, I went through glass, I've gone through probably 20 of the Elmer glue sticks. Uh, and I've got a stack of mirrors about this tall right now that are just covered in glue that I don't wanna clean because it's just a pain. Um, so yeah, this build plate, uh, I don't have to use glue or hairspray. I like that a lot. So that's my number one. Anyway, guys, I'm keeping it short. I'm keeping it sweet. Uh, we're going to be back with new videos. We've got uh, new 3D printers coming that we're going to review. We've got a blowgun that we're going to make that shoots nails and try and hunt some squirrels with it. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff coming in the, up in the future here. And as you can see, uh, this workshop is outfitted for more than just 3D printing. So if you have projects, you have ideas you want us to try on this channel, let me know. We'd be more than happy to try them out. Anyway, this is the 3D Workshop. I'm JP. Open it up in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe if you do. And uh, let me know what you think about these upgrades. If you got suggestions, if you got questions, let me know. Anyway, I'm out of here. See ya.